point guard at the helm, battling through the ankle injury. He'll go down the lane, dish it underneath the Kessens, up and under with the reverse layup. Up 7.15 to go, first half action. Brown passes to Dublin, now to Carey on the left wing. Carey goes around the screen, bounce pass to a streaking Kessens, who hammers it home with two hands. 15 point lead, a minute 40 to go before the break. The Spartans are opening it up. Carey, left wing, throws to Parker in between the rings. Holding the ball, looking for help, gives to Carey. Lancer's trying to figure out this zone. Don't seem to have much cooking. 12 to shoot. Carey now clearing out, directing traffic. Throws to Kessens, pulls up for a 12-foot jump. Advantage of 16. As across midcourt come the Lancers. Carey bounce pass down low to Kessens. Reverse layup up and good. From the state of New York. Down to 60 year with Norfolk State. Brown and Bounty on the baseline, can't find anybody, throws it all the way into the backcourt where Carey tracks it down. Longwood has it, down by 14. As we'll hit 16 and a half minutes to go in the game. Dublin, left wing to Carey. Carey around a screen, pick and roll with the Kessens, fakes the jumper, backs his way into the hoop, goes strong to the... 17 with eight and a half minutes to go. Brown across midcourt, drives down the lane, kicks the Kessens on the baseline. Backs it out to Havenstein. Now to Carey. Right wing to Brown. Brown around to screen. Kessens will come out and set a screen for him. Pick and roll. Gets it to Kessens who dunks it. Out of the floor. He'll get a screen from Dublin. Dribbles around it. Deep three ball up. No good. Battle for the board. Kessens gets it. Can't put it up. And then he puts it up and in. Defensive Player of the Year in the conference, being the most improved in the offseason, but he cannot pull down the. Devin Cherry. Jerry.
looking back to the play call for Mike Gillian. And Carey leads the team in scoring, averaging about 15 per game. He's got the basketball now. A transfer from LaSalle inside of the big man, the 6 9 He is a player that's very capable of knocking down those shots. He just got to get into a comfort zone, get a little rhythm. Nice shot. It makes the outside jump shot come a lot easier. And Kale Starks took that shot in rhythm and was able to knock it down. Five straight for Georgetown. The lead stretched out to double digits. Kessens with email and you look at video online and the Lancer coaching staff saw enough video from Kessens. Just his ability. Nice box out there on Esprilla. Havenstein over to Carey. Cross-court pass all the way over. Working his way inside. The Kesson. Down to Heath. They go right back to him. And his shot a little high. And missed it completely. Back up down the floor. Kesson runs the floor. On the help side. Went to cut off the... Baseline, when, when your guy commits and you're hung up in the air, it's easy to find somebody on the opposite side of the court. Quick trigger, Himes catches in shooter position, squared up his feet just to make sure and buried to three. Himes with 13 on the evening. Kessens long.
drive many times myself. <laughs> Kessens can't score, but it's tipped in. Beeks goes for it. It's tipped to the sideline, and Kessens holds it for Longwood, gives it up to Woodhouse. Ten point Liberty lead with 130 to go in the game. Uh, first half, excuse me. Nice time. Nice shot by Kessens. His See the second half points in the paint. Mike Liberty with 10. Longwood with just two. Their, their back to the basket guy is Kessens. And he's two for 11 from the field tonight. There he is. Inside the dunk by Kessens. That's it.
15 points a game, but also a pretty good rebounder. He rebounds five rebounds every contest. Longwood has won two of its last three games, playing the role of really spoiler right now, hoping to revenge the 27-point loss to Liberty and Lynchburg. Woodhouse inside to Dublin, and the putback is good. That's the style where Liberty has come up empty. They just need to continue to try to get stops here. Inside, Kessens going against Coronado. To 10. Carey, though, all the way to the basket. Can't score, but it's uh, Kessens. Good. The inbound quickly to Woodhouse. Things may have to foul here. They're trying to. They're taking too long, though. Carey. Woodhouse. Woodhouse gives it now low to Kessens. Is up for Bobby Jones. It's good. UT Martin leading it 34 31 up by three. Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Skyhawk showing the pressure defense in backcourt. Woodhouse has it, passing the timeline to Kessens. Now they got to get to the guard, Carey, who had the hot hand early. Back to Woodhouse. DeMarc Richardson is on Woodhouse. Side and hit that three pointer, and on that one, he knocks it down. He's shooting. 31% from three-point range on the season. Pass inside to Cassins. Cassins on the baseline. Drives, turn around, hook shot, good. Long went out of the Big South Conference, 3-11 and 11 in their conference. UT Martin, 4-10 in OVC play. will play at Murray and then at Austin P to end the season. Here's the lob. 